Hello and welcome to a little sort of mini video thing where I talk about books, or more specifically, individual books that I find interesting and I think you might find interesting too. This one, for instance, is The Ghost Stories of M.R. James, as you can see, selected by Michael Cox, who is a biographer of M.R. James as well, and illustrated by Rosalind Caldicott. So it's quite a nice edition. Um, look at this is second hand. As you can see, it's got ooh, Tiger Books International London, uh, this edition 1986. So these are the contents, and as you can see, it's a fairly reasonable selection of M.R. James classics. There are some inclusions and some exclusions that I might question. Um, obviously, you've got the standard issue ones. You've got Canon Albrecht's scrapbook, The Mets of Tent Lost Hearts, Oh Whistle and I'll Come to You. Um, and of course, Warning to the Curious. You've also got The Residence at Whitminster, which I can't help feeling isn't really that great, but perhaps they needed it to make up the page count. Yeah, well, it's a matter of opinion, of course. Um, there's a good introduction with a picture of the man himself. Elf. This is uh, William Strang's portrait of 1909. And a nice bit of background detail and so forth. Uh, pictures of the family. Uh, M.R. James' old mother there and his old dad with a magnificent Victorian beard. The Victorians did beards like nobody had ever done beards before, at least not since ancient Greece anyway. Um, this is the sort of equivalent of the Bullingdon Club of the 19th century, except these were mostly decent human beings. And uh, here's M.R. James um, doing something that would uh, antagonise a lot of right-wingers in America and Britain by putting on what looks very much like women's clothes. He's actually, uh, oh God, Pythotyros, possibly, in Aristophanes the Birds, performed in Greek. At Cam of course it was performed in Greek at Cambridge in 1883. Why wouldn't it be? And there are lots of other pictures. This is Jane McBride, uh, his ward. Uh, the daughter of his very good friend, James McBride, who died young, and he, well, he was her ward, Gwendolyn McBride and so forth. Um, the actual McBride illustrations, of course, for Ghost Stories of an Antiquary were never completed because McBride died. Uh, and it's generally known, but it's worth, worth reiterating that one of the reasons M.R. James wanted to publish his ghost stories was to give his friend, a uh, talented artist, an opportunity to illustrate them. So that did not work out. Uh, the introduction, as you can see, is uh, reasonably long. And then you've got the actual story. So here's uh, Canon Alberic, Saint Bertrand de Comage, I think. I never can pronounce that correctly, but it's a decayed town on the spurs of the Pyrenees. And there's the stuffed crocodile. Isn't that good? Yeah, it's pretty good. The stuffed crocodile hangs in the church and so forth. And the actual cathedral, the way up the road. Yeah, the usual thing. Lost Hearts. That's well, not bad, as would be Hall, and so on and so forth. Um, I think this book, if you can get your hands on it, is pretty good. It's got a lot of illustrations. Um, it's a very pleasant read. The print's nice and large, which, as you get older, becomes more and more of an issue, of course. And you've got just all of the M.R. James classics, six that you want, and uh, some nice pictures to look at. Yeah, so that's the first of my book talk books. Uh, see how it goes. That's what, probably a few minutes. Yeah, nice short video, doesn't have to stay welcome. Um, yeah, tell me what you think.